today in the bus, Robbie was just had all the finger bikes. He was seriously going crazy. <laughs> he had the vert ramp, had the dirt jumps and the flat bottom. This is Paul getting jiggy with the jiggins. And next up is Ryan Nyquist. You seem to have quite an outfit on today, Ryan. I'm a pro. I gotta look good. I'm inspired by T Nick G pads. <laughs> and wow! God damn it! Wow! The head tube blew off! Ryan drags his bike up in two pieces. He's a comedic genius when it comes to those fingers. Comes to finger bikes. What's going on out there with the goggles? Listen, man, there's a glare coming off that rail down there. Oh, Jesus Christ! Tony D forgot to put his front pegs on! And he's down! Let's see what the beast has to say. What do you think, Dave? What should I do? You gotta bust the tail whip five, beast. Just like we do back in Saskatchewan, what nut nut. I'm from jolly old England. Nothing from riding today is gonna make me sore. There's the candy bar ice big boat. But I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and my stomach is just gonna be aching because <laughs> just I'm laughing so hard. I don't even know how he does it. Everyone's just getting crazy on the finger bikes. It was out of hand. The cool thing about the trip to me and you know, just according to my eyes, is like everybody has such a different style, like that it's so easy for 15 of us or how many ever people go out and all of us come back with such different things. Like this trip has like really helped me open my eyes and kind of brought light back to me because I haven't really been street riding at all lately. So, all right, let's go. Let's go. See you guys. This is Kenan Harkin uh, coming to you live from the Superdome in New Orleans. Kenan just flew in from uh, Australia where he was partying with the crocodile hunter. We've got a new course, a double, a set of stairs with a rail, a double, and another quarter pipe. This is some kind of hybrid bastard inbred child of the bicycle extreme sport. We're not exactly sure what this event's called. All the way from the shores of Dirty Jersey's Ralph Sinisi. Um, I want to thank Marco and Chris for a great time that I had. Nobody knows how the hell this coot got invited to this party. Everybody is a great bunch of guys. I had a lot of fun hanging out with everybody. He rides for FBM. That's fat, bald men. If you don't grind that rail, Kelly Baker's gonna kick your teeth out. Hey man, hey man, don't harsh my mellow. I'm about to get rad. Here comes Ralph Sinisi, peg bonks in. Jumps the dub, double peg ride, woo! A lot of fun riding with everybody. He's gonna do the crisscross, will make you jump, jump, grind. Woo, he's awesome. That's about it, and thank you again. Uh, hi, this is Garrett, Road Fools 5. Flew by really fast. Um, I had a lot of fun on this trip, riding with a lot of friends, a lot of people I've always looked up to. Wait a minute, what's going on here? That's pretty much it. Bye. Joe Rich is pissed. <laughs> he's coming in. It's a giant Joe Rich. Ah! Road Fools 5, this is my final interview. It was my first Road Fools and it was a good time. Got to ride some really good parks and hang out with some really good riders. I saw a lot of good riding and hopefully I took a, at least a couple of good pictures. Nothing but fun. Joe says, look at all these wimpy bikes. That's all I have to say. I own terrible ones. I'm gonna do the atomic seat drop on these bikes. My fourth Road Fools, second actually riding. What? <laughs> Looks like Laird's bike got stuck directly up Joe Rich's ass. <laughs> Tosh, get out of here. And it's just amazing like watching guys like Matt and Taj and Jay on a regular basis like go off wherever they ride and band like just everyone is pretty much unreal the whole trip. I'm just pretty much psyched to be back on my bike and riding with everyone again. We got a late entry, Mike Laird coming in on the www.nerveracking.com bike. Oh, bar spin table, we haven't seen that one. Christ, he, he hung up. This is nerve wracking watching that front wheel come to pieces. This trip was super dope. It's been uh. Laird's done for the day. Who's next? Very different than any other one I've been on. Didn't get to hit much street, like it's been really cold and it rained a couple of the days that we were on the trip. But overall, just unbelievable sessions every time we rode. Seriously, probably some of the best times I've had in my life going on these trips. Whoa, here comes Dave Mira. I'm super stoked, uh, thanks. <laughs> he pulled the Corvette on the course, what kind of shit is this? Ryan, let me borrow your ride, dude. I'll show you how it's done. Here he comes in. Whoa, Superman over the dust. <laughs> Superman Barsman. If that doesn't take it, I don't know what does. Pretty fun trip, I took a couple days off. Where's Rooftop? Couple days on. This is just like nowhere fast. I can get on anybody's bike and ride. 
I originated having these tricks when I was 11 and a half. Some of the big wigs were on and made the trip even more uh, amazing. Watch me foofanoo this bench, and backwards foofanoo this coping, and foofanoo this bench, and a new thing called the foofanoo grind. What? Thanks for uh, everything. I got to come on at the last minute. Just to show you how cool I am, I'm going to give my bike to some sorry bastard in the crowd. You in the front row. Catch. Thanks a lot, props, and uh, hopefully I'll see you at another one sometime. Hey, Rooftop, it's rumored that Taj Mahal just walked in the streets of Seattle. Oh, was five. In a pair of Birkenstocks, because your sorry ass won't get him any shoes. Pretty diverse group of people. It was good to see that everyone got along well. And I had a really fun time, and everyone else seemed to see you. I got to hang out with some people I never ever get to hang out with. This is Kenan Harkin, and the next rider on the venue is Ryan Nyquist. Nothing plays good, it's probably with a bunch of friends and riding, so. Ryan, what do you think? Well, once again, I've pushed the technicality of the sport in many areas. One way is the bar spin. My headset is spring-loaded with precision ceramic bearings. This thing spins like the girl's head in The Exorcist. Ryan drops in, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a six-tubble bar spin. Well, he's coming back. Bam, bam, bam. Looks like the street wizard Van Homan has ridden his bike all the way to the Astrodome from Philadelphia, folks. He never quits. This trip was super fun. Um, Jump over ice pick to toothpick to toothpick tail whip. Uh, everyone was just really cool, and uh, we went to a lot of skate parks, hit up a little street, went to some of the best trails I've ever ridden. Hey, this is Ken Hark, and I'm with Van Homan. That was a sick run, bro. How's it feel? Uh... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's okay, man. John Paul Rogers is screaming at Van. Man, what's your problem? We sent you to speaking class. You're supposed to say that the Schwinn ran well on television. Whoa, Van Homan just rode over John Paul. It was pretty much just fun. There's not much else to say, but we had a good time. The beast is up. Hey, Jay, uh, where you come from? I come from Saskatchewan, Canada, and I'm here to kick ass. Road Fools 2000. It's over. <laughs> Phone's blowing up. Oh, you it's you. Yo, sucked by bloody balls on camera, Nate. Pova, where the hell are my front pegs? Man, I'm tired of uh, hiring insubordinate help like John Paul and John Paul Pova. I don't know. I'm so confused. I don't know. It was pretty cool. I wish we would have got to ride more street, but you know, what can you do? Kenny, get the hell out of the way. I got 15 seconds to pull a rabbit out of my ass, and I'm about to. 540 whip, folks. We never get to see it. The beast crew's going crazy. Here comes Asado. Van's ridden back from Philadelphia again. I just got to give props again to Nate and Van for doing that road gap. That was one of the coolest things I've ever seen done on a bike. John Riggy Riggins just flew in uh, with his wife, Dottie Riggins, and they're going to do a commentary on the 540 whip. There's one, two, three, four, five rotation. Thanks to Road Fools. That's it. I'm out of here. This sport's going to crash and burn quicker than Dave's Corvette. God damn it. Late breaking news is. Matt Hoffman and John Vincent are going to be parachuting in from the roof. My overall uh, summary of the tour would be... Matt just got here from Argentina, where a small army of young brown people have molested him. <laughs> I got to ride a lot. I got to ride every day, and anytime I ride every day, I'm a happy, I'm a happy boy. Let's take it up to the roof. What if the chute doesn't open? You're dead meat. So I had a great time. This parachute was made by Evil Knievel, though, and by golly, it's going to work. The same thing he used in the Snake River Canyon jump. Here comes John Vincent. Vincent, parachuting in. Oh, damn! The chute didn't open. Hoffman drops in. He's on his bike. Whoa! He starts it off with the flip. He's killing it, folks. It was really nice to be able to just kind of hang out and just really get to know a lot of these guys. Upon impact, Kenan, both of my knees popped directly out of joint and hit me in the chin. I, I, I had a great time. All right, late breaking entry. It's Robbie Morales. How he got into this event, no one knows. Just want everyone to know out there in uh, video land. Here comes Morales, he drops in. Son of a there bitch, he manual the doubles. These trips are, are pretty gnarly, you know? A lot of people come on, like I came on hurt. I know a couple of people were already hurt. Goes for the rail, thinks about fourth grade lunch when he copped the field. Oh, he ate shit. We go to cities we've never been to and find stuff, and everybody comes back with their own thing. And, it just shows how uh, unique bike riding is. It's about riding, folks, and just following your true inner self. 
Kenan, you're a faggot. Don't forget it. That's my favorite part about these trips. It's just you look like Ricky Martin. You're ruining it. Being able to go to different spots, experience new things, meet new people, and uh, basically just live the life on the road. You know, it's, that's where it's at for me. Watch the handrail. Crack! 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 Oh my God! Kenan went through the windshield! We lost Kenan Harkin! Uh, what is the Bicycle uh, Stunt Series gonna do? Good job, bro. <laughs> I'm sweating again. Come on, bro, tonight.